Hello YouTube, it is I, Banded Wendy. How are you? It is day three of No Sugar November 2018, and I'm here to catch up. Uh, I woke up this morning and my scale lied to me. <laughs> Said I gained 1.8 pounds. Uh, it lied to me. Oh well. But what I realized, um, not, yesterday was great. Um, and I had no sugar, so that's a victory. I don't really care what the scale says. Like, it'd be nice to see the scale move by not eating sugar, and I'm sure that it will. Um, but I'm not worried about what the scale said. However, I thought about that mental piece, um, and I did a support group this morning, and uh, there were several pre-opers and some post-ops, and the pre-ops are worried about the future and uh, one of them mentioned your mindset has to be right right and I thought about myself and you know in general on this journey your mindset is so much right PMA um, and then I also knew it was so much deeper than that thought right than just it's your mindset your mindset has to be right uh, so I made peace with the scale about nine, ten years ago uh, as a post-op weight loss surgery patient. The scale doesn't define me, right? And it can be really challenging when the um, work that you're doing, right, all the effort that you're putting in doesn't produce the result you're hoped for or you believe will be there. Um, that should be produced by your hard work, right? And that's not always the case. If you're doing what you need to do and feeling good about living it, navigating the choices every day, then the scale will catch up, right? And I'm so thankful that I learned that so early on in my journey. And it's good to get to go through that in your head. Um, and I thought maybe I could help you. If you're not doing that, that's it's a science project, right? So I said that several times in my videos. The scale doesn't define me. This uh, journey is a science project, and you mentally have to control how you navigate it, and it's a big piece. Uh, and as weight loss surgery patients, the scale's involved in what we think about, right? So um, there's that. Today, Saturday, has been fantastic. Um, it's the first weekend in probably most of, oh, uh, close to a month, at least three weeks, that I've been home um, and not working at some capacity. So that's nice. Um, it's cold here in Tacoma. Uh, I faced uh, uh, candy, chocolate, <laughs> cookies, cakes, uh, sugar laden foods all over the place today and I just say no sugar November and I think that's important I think the mantra you know whatever it is whatever you're focused on in this journey and then you're trying to work on and, and realize there probably never be any type of perfect to anything but if you're striving for perfection you're in a good spot that's how I feel about the whole thing right um, realize I can't be perfect but I can sure freaking try right so talk about it, say it out loud, create some mantras, put a hashtag to it, hashtag NSN, right, for No Sugar November. Uh, let people in on what you're doing. Hear yourself think through the ideas. All that matters. <clears throat> the other realization I had today is that I have gotten away from seeing myself on video and seeing myself in pictures and all that good stuff. Oh, there's the pup. Um, and that's important, it matters. Uh, it's all about uh, loving to love you, right? When was the last time you like stopped and checked you out for you know more than a minute and was kind um, and made observations? It's important. And uh, I feel like I haven't done that as much lately. So I'm gonna do that this month too, right? Uh, take a look at me. Make sure I still like what I see. Right? That's important. Uh, and then there, you know, going into the grocery store that has this amazing bakery. I, I guess I'll try to put some pictures in here. 
I keep saying that and I keep forgetting to do it, maybe tonight. Uh, and, you know, it's that SBS, skinny bitch syndrome that I've talked about before. Um, I'm a size that I like. I call me skinny compared to the way I used to be. And that is just an opportunity to give yourself permission to do anything. So, you know, it comes back to the mental piece. Um, I can persuade, uh, sell, negotiate with myself <laughs> all day long, uh, every moment. Uh, and you have to choose which lane you're going to be in, which conversation you're going to willing to take on and know why it matters, right? Why you want to do what you're doing, uh, how you're going to get there what stands in your way, who's responsible for making it happen, and all that crap ends up coming back to me and or you, right? So how do you like that? You're in charge. Okay, what am I going to do with being in charge, right? So those are some thoughts I had today. Uh, and I thought it would be good to share in a video, but I've taken up enough of your time. Uh, I, you know, I probably there's like a half pound, I'm guessing. I haven't done the math, but um, from what I lost on day one, to what it said I gained on day two, you know, so here I am on day three. We'll see what tomorrow brings, uh, but I feel great. Uh, I love the way my body feels without eating any sugar. It actually, I, and my mind's always clear, my body always feels good. I just love sugar, <laughs> too, you know? Um, and besides the physical and the mental aspect, you know, the physical, I feel it, I see it, there's less bloat right? Um, the mentals, there's that clarity and there's that almost like awakening of how often I have to have that conversation in my head to say no. Saying no. How often do you do that? In life, as a weight loss surgery patient, in relationships, you know? When you want it, how often do you say no? So it's a journey and it feels good and it gives you a great uh, place to stand in liking what you're doing and liking who you are and being that change you want to see, right? So anyway, thank you. I'll be back tomorrow for day four. Take care. Bye.